Tonight it is Virginia Beach. We're coming to you with the worst kind of breaking news imaginable. John Berman here in for Anderson tonight. Our hearts go out to Virginia Beach, Virginia, where police say a city employee opened fire in a municipal building and took at least 11 lives before police took his. Six more people are in the hospital. The city, needless to say, is in shock. And this is all unfolding moment by moment in the words and images we all think we are so familiar with until it happens where we live. And it is happening where we live. Tonight, it is Virginia Beach. This is the most devastating day in the history of Virginia Beach. The people involved are our friends, co-workers, neighbors, colleagues. Uh, you, know, you know, at this point, I would like to turn things over to Chief Severa to give you the information that we have so far. The mayor, as you saw, could hardly continue. The police chief understandably struggled as well. Right now we have a lot of questions. The whys, they will come later. Right now, we have more questions really than we have answers. We're a little more than two hours into this event. And we use the word event, that's a cop term. This devastating incident that happened that none of us want to be here talking about. This devastating incident which is going to change the lives of a number of families from our city. Local station WVEC managed to speak with a witness. Her name is Megan Banton. She works inside the building. Just, we just heard that there was an active shooter and we just barricaded ourselves in offices to make sure that um, we were all safe and I called 911 um, just to get them to come there as fast as possible. Can what you take me to what was going on right at the point when you realized something was terribly wrong? Um, when my boss um, basically was like, this is not a drill, get down, call 911. And that's when we just, I called 911 and we all just ran in her office and, and closed the door. Did you see anybody actually get injured? I, I didn't physically see anybody um, get injured, so. And which department were you in? Public utilities. Public utilities. Uh, did you hear anything from anyone about who the suspect might be? No, no. Yeah. Just tell us about the reaction. I mean, everyone getting down, running around, not knowing what's happening. I mean, this is something you could, I mean, no matter how much training you go through, it's something you we can't prepare yeah. you. Just tell us about that. Um, basically, just, we just wanted to try to keep everybody safe as much as we could and, and just trying to stay on the phone with 911. Um, just because we wanted to make sure they were coming. <laughs> they couldn't come fast enough and um, just making sure that they were. How long did that 911 wait feel like? Hours, hours, yeah. And you said those shots were very clear from where you were on the second yeah. floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many people were in the office with you? The office that we were in probably had about 20 people just Barricade, barricaded, barricaded, yeah. Were you literally just, I'm assuming, hugging one another, holding one another? Yeah, and we had the um, desk barricaded against the door. And what were you hearing? So the desk is barricaded against what the door. What were you door. hearing what outside? You hearing? We, we heard gunshots. We kept hearing gunshots, and we kept hearing the cops saying, get down. And it was very muffled, but the stairwell was right next to the office. So we we kept hearing like people talking and and we heard the canines come up the steps. Did you hear the and suspect saying anything? We couldn't we couldn't hear him saying anything or uh, her with, saying with anything. The, with the gunshots, tell me about the rapid fire gunshots. Like what are we dealing with? I, I don't know, honestly. Lots I, and lots. I I don't know, honestly. Yeah, you mentioned it was muffled. You know, you did say that you try to do, you guys try to do everything you can. I asked you, you know, what do you want people at home to know? People are praying for you. People are making sure you guys are okay. What do you really want them to know about today and what happened in there? Um, just um, do all that you can to try to make sure everybody's safe. Because that's all we were trying to do is just make sure everybody was safe. Can you talk about how close-knit Public Works is? I mean, that's like a family in there, right? Yeah. Talk to us about how this is more than the co-workers, right? This, this is like a home to you. You're here every day with these people. I mean, that has yeah. to hit home. Yeah, um, we just were trying to text everybody because 
like you said, like we knew everybody, but we didn't know everybody was at that time. So we were just trying to find out like, you know, if, they, if our friends were safe, if the people that we knew were in the office were safe. Uh, describe to me how you would describe this type of evil. I just don't know why anyone would do something like that. I, I, there's, I don't, I don't know what would possess somebody to just come in and just start shooting at people. I. You, you that you have seen this, that you have seen this around the country, and now right. so it's come all, ar know what's all right across the country, hometown. and now it's come here. It's, it's, it's just, it's just surreal, and like I said before, you see this on the news all the time, and you just, you know, you pray for the people and you just hope that they're okay but you never think it's going to happen to you but when it happens to you it's just a totally different experience and you just you think about your family you think about like everybody that you know just pray that they're safe what so is your that name you, again what is Me your name? megan banton and megan what do you do what do you do next after a day like this do you go home and just hug your family talk about how you 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 go about the rest of your day knowing what just occurred i'll probably have a lot of trouble sleeping at night but um yeah just going home hugging my family. I have an 11 month old baby at home and all I could think about was him and trying to make it home to him. She will get home tonight, but 11 others will not. As we said, this story is evolving. The crime scene is active and the numbers sadly could change. Right now, let's get more on what we do and don't know from CNN Shimon Prokipe. Shimon, what more are you learning at this hour? Right, so what we've learned is that this was a disgruntled employee uh, there who was According to the police and, and local authorities, that he was still employed uh, there inside that building. Uh, and essentially, that's all we know about the shooter at this point. We don't have any information on the victims. Obviously, that is something police are still working. They're working to identify the victims. But the thing here is the way the police described the way this shooting unfolded, they say that. Uh, it happened on multiple floors. Police were called. They responded fairly quickly, and they were able to intercept. They interceded. They were able to stop the suspect. They say there was a shootout, uh, and they injured him. They killed him. Uh, a police officer was shot. Uh, he was saved by his bulletproof vest, the police say. That officer is recovering. And I think we're going to hear a lot of stories, as we've heard from the witnesses and from the police, as we go forward, some of the heroic efforts to try and prevent more people from being injured, more people from being killed. Because when you listen to the police describe this, the police chief there, and how he said that the shooter went from floor to floor, he knew where he was going. He was shooting people indiscriminately, just firing, open, opening fire on people inside that building. So the police response here is going to be a key part of this in that it prevented more people from ultimately getting injured. And now we have just a major crime scene here, bodies still on the scene, victims being identified in the FBI, the ATF, the Virginia State Police, all there on scene working through the building, processing the crime scene and now you know we will learn more stories more heroic stories and the victims and we will start to learn more about them and who they are and just deeply how affected deeply this community is going to be by this shooting john and shaman we are expecting another news conference from officials tonight we will bring that to you all live as soon as it happens because these details are just coming in we do know what happened next door to city hall in the operations area of the municipal Center. What more do we know about that, Shimon? Yeah, that's what the police said. The police described this as the operations building of the city, uh, the public works area. So it's probably some of the utility workers, some of the road workers, uh, some of the other folks who really keep the city running, perhaps. Uh, and these were the victims. These were the people that were inside this building. There was a school administration building next door as well. They were placed on lockdown. There was a courthouse nearby as well attached to this building. So it's really the nerve center, it sounds like, of this city, of Virginia Beach, where this shooting took place. Uh, there, you know, when you look at what time this happened, this happened just after four o'clock, it was towards the end of the day. So people you know, perhaps were getting ready to leave, but it sounded like there were a lot of people in the building at the time of this shooting. Uh, and if really you have to see and Wait, we'll learn, I guess, from the police about their response and what they had to deal with when they found a shooter finally after he went floor to floor mm -hmm. shooting. Uh, but right now, you know, essentially all we know is that this was on multiple mm -hmm. floors, lots of victims, 
And now we you okay. know, wait to learn more. All right, Shimon Prokipes, thank you very much. Stand by, because CNN's Ryan Nobles is now with us. Well, they understand some new information on the killer. Ryan is now joining us by phone. What have you learned? Well, uh, John, I've been in touch with uh, Virginia government officials across the board uh, for the last hour or so since the shooting first came down. And, and much as what we've seen from uh, the press conference that took place, there's just really a state of shock. And it appears as though Virginia Beach uh, is a law enforcement agency that's kind of spearheading this effort. Mm-hmm. Um, as Shimon reported, we uh, the most extensive information we've learned on the shooter right now is that he is uh, a disgruntled employee. We don't know exactly what led to him becoming disgruntled, but he is someone that worked in that municipal building in some way, shape, or form.